This is Lakeshore's Measurement Minute. Today we'll explore how easy it is to switch between DC and AC measurement modes on the M81 SSM. When performing DC measurements, increasingly lower source currents are often required to protect sensitive test devices and prevent issues like self-heating, especially in cryogenic experiments. While current reversal can help reduce offset errors, it is not an easy or convenient technique to implement. In contrast, the M81's AC locking capability allows for even lower source levels without offset errors and uniquely offers seamless switching between DC and AC modes. We're measuring a very small standard 10 milliohm resistor using a BCS current source module and a voltage measure module set up in a four wire or Kelvin configuration. Previously, we used a DC signal and ran into offset errors near 100% below one milliamp. To begin, we'll start on the source screen ensuring the output is turned off and set the output current to one milliamp. We'll change the shape from a DC to a sine wave AC current. We'll set the source frequency to 83 Hertz and enable the source to on. Switch back over to the measurement pane and set the mode from DC to lock in, locking into that 83 Hertz signal. And we'll notice that the measurement is close to that 10 milliohm standard. To demonstrate this even further, we can reduce the current by a decade to 0.1 milliamp. This same measurement when using a DC method contained 100% error. We see that the measured resistance is 10 milliohms, the same resistance as our standard device. This demonstrates the benefits of a DC-AC hybrid system. When beneficial, we can use DC, and when necessary, we can use an AC lock-in technique to eliminate equipment offsets, thermal offsets, and noise.